instruction is individualized. It's linked to learning style and ability. It's got a lot of student choice involved. Information is presented in incremental steps and there are multiple, multiple assessment formats. Uh, different interactive instruction is not uniform strategies uh, for all limited choice, one assessment style, or one teaching method. Uh, <clears throat> documentation, lesson plans, lesson planning notes, we've got a notebook, we've got it. In CTA, we believe a differentiated instruction is varied learning material, flexible grouping, reteach in small groups, remediation, varied instructional strategies, acceleration, uh, documents, we, documents to prove rubrics, projects, portfolios, tests, presentation, lesson plans. Uh, we believe that it is not poor classroom management, one size fit all teaching, teacher focus, or teacher that is not flexible. And we didn't have any questions. individualized instruction, a variety of differentiated tests, a content process, and a product, a flexible grouping, has to be uh, data driven, high learning expectations, and uh, should show uh, remediation. What is not a uh, sit and get all the time, everyone always doing the same thing, and constant worksheets. Uh, documents to prove, lesson plans, student work, and data notebook. And no questions. On from math, we said that it looks like flexible grouping that varies whole class and small groups and that you allow some students some source for showing what they know and how they do it. Um, differentiated is not whole group every day and one size fits all assessments and the documents approve a lesson plans and the varying assessments and projects that we are doing. In fine arts we think differentiated instruction looks like a variety of presentational methods, a variety of student work sessions, and a variety of assessment methods allowing students to choose, um, meeting students where they're at as far as remediation and acceleration. Documents to prove are lesson plans, student work samples, performance data, and rehearsal assessments. And differentiated instruction is not um, teaching appropriate content, not one size fits all, ignoring struggling students or students who need to be challenged. And we don't have any questions. <coughs> English, we think that uh, differentiated instruction is treat students as individuals, uh, constant assessments, different assessments to make sure that all students are uh, on the same level, challenging, curriculum appropriate to each student's needs, uh, the documents to prove, of course, <laughs> lesson plans, data notes, book, and assessments. Um, it is not the cookie cutter method. Um, it is not just handing out worksheets and asking for recall. It is treating it at each individual student. Uh, okay. And for language, differentiation um, instruction looks like differentiation according to content, process, product, and learning environment, flexible grouping, and variety of formative and summative strategies to inform instruction remediation and acceleration as needed. It does not look like one size fits all, groups that are groups that are not purposefully chosen, and constant use of whole group practice. Documents approved by lesson plans, data notebook, and student clubs. And the first thing we had was how will the administrators or will the administrators be expected to see different activities or strategies when they come to observe um, their different workers to assess differentiation. What's the question again? What, what, uh, <laughs> What's your question? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would the administration be expected to see different activity strategies per observation? Basically, you're not going to differentiate every day. We just basically looking at your, um, basically looking at your lesson plan, if you have a differentiated instruction um, uh, 
lesson, then we'll come in and, and um, we'll come in and look at it then. Or if we haven't seen any differentiated instruction, then we'll ask you when you go and differentiate. Or if you want to just tell us, uh, Dave, we'll be doing some differentiation if you want to uh, watch. So it's just, you know, it's a variety of ways. If you, if, 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 if you want to leave it by chance, and we may stumble in on it, we may not. We may, if we don't see it, we may ask, how did you, you know, when did you do your differentiation? And when you, when you did it, how did you do it? What did it look like? Um, the best way to do it is just, just tell us. I'll be doing a differentiated instruct, instruction if you want to come by. I went and watched the uh, Fill the Bucket last week in um, social studies. And I had a variety of uh, different levels of instruction, critical thinking, some differentiation, all that was wrapped in one lesson. And even though it wasn't, my, wasn't on my walkthrough list, I still was able to do a walkthrough on that. So if you got a lesson going, if you want us to see it, just uh, let us know. If one, if one of the other administrators is not available, let me know and I'll come and watch it and, and um, do a walkthrough on it. And all of this, remember all of this though, what I'm, what I'm saying is all of this still has to be able to talk. And that's the key to this thing is, is being able to, when we do our uh, formative assessment and we'll have these questions, is being able to talk yourself through as to how you do it and how you did it. And again, the um, handout, the blue and white, um, I mean the blue and yellow um, Ruby cards, and also that interrelated uh, handout I gave you. Um, that's where a lot of those questions will be coming from. So, just being able to, just being able to talk is very, very important. as opposed to any instrument that I've been involved in, has more rigor and they expect the teacher to continue to grow and it's a growing process for the teacher. And I really appreciate the different levels that they give the teacher so room to grow and that's what I like about the teacher key. Let's kind of give you an idea of what some of the other teachers that have experienced this process um, have gone through and just some of their uh, Like I said, feedback, if you're not getting enough feedback in the walkthroughs, um, whichever administrator is walking through, please feel free to come and ask questions about this process. If you're not sure about something, you know, come. Uh, we'll be happy to tell you uh, what we saw. Uh, if you were right on, if you need to adjust or whatever. Um, the biggest thing, um, just, Thing that we have to be careful of is, is feedback to the students. Can't forget that part of it. Um, and letting the students know um, what they expected to learn. Because another part of it is us talking to the students and making sure that they understand what their learning targets are and what they expected to learn. And the feedback that you give the students, I guess when you're grading their papers or any type of uh, assessment that you're doing, you got you have to give students feedback. Just like with the superintendent, I always want feedback from her when she's when something's going on, and I know you guys want feedback from us. 
and that's a part of this when we're um, when we really get into it and formative assessment part of it, and, and in our walkthroughs we'll start coming in and you know just talking to the students. So make sure that you're giving them feedback. Make sure that they understand what it is that their learning targets are uh, uh, for that particular class or for that particular session or, or whatever. Okay. Any questions? Uh, me and I think that you heard today in comments. Y'all have anything? No, just if you're giving the writing test, if he'll stay for a few minutes when we're done. All right. Thank you.